Yes. I'm glad you're home early. How is Tita? Don't wake her up, Mario. She's tired. She cried the whole day. Has she been eating well? She wouldn't eat even a mouthful of Pluto. But I'll buy her some biscuits. Maybe she'll eat them. I'll take some of the money. Gloria! Can't you wait a minute? What's the matter? Why are you suddenly so touchy? Who wouldn't be? I'm talking to you about the jet, and you bother me when you're sucking my pocket. I wish you'd think more of our daughter. My God, wasn't I thinking of her? Why do you think I need some money? To buy me a pretty dress? Or see a movie? Tone down your voice. You'll wake the child up. All I want is a little money to buy her something to eat. She hasn't eaten anything all day. That was why I was bothering you. I'm sorry, Gloria. It's alright, Mario. Now, can I have some of the money? Money? Ah, I don't have any. Not right now. Today is payday, Mario. Yes, but... But what? Where's your pay for the week? I don't have it. What? I'm waiting for you for the whole day, and you tell me that I have nothing, nothing. What do you want me to do, Steel? I'm not asking you to do a thing like that. All I want to know is what you did with your pay. Nothing is left of it. Nothing? What happened? Oh, I have two drinks with my friend before I knew it. I have spent every cent of it. Mario, do you think you can make a fool of me? Haven't I seen you drunk before? Rolling home like a wounded snake, a reeking of alcohol like a hospital. You don't smell or look drunk. Alright, so I didn't go drinking. But your pay, what happened to it? It's better if you don't know, Gloria. Look, Mario, I'm your wife. I have the right to half of everything you get. If I can't have my share, I have the right to know at least where it went. Gloria, feel better if you don't know. I must know! Alright, I spend it all on another woman. Another woman? I don't believe it. I know you wouldn't do such a thing. I didn't know you had so much faith in me. No, Mario. What I mean is, you wouldn't spend all your money when you know your daughter will be some You never do much to that. What's wrong, Mario? Nothing, Gloria. 
happy. I know something is wrong, Mario. I can feel it. Tell me what it is. Gloria, I lost my job. Oh no! It's true, Gloria. What about your pay for the whole week? I lost my job a week ago. And you never even told me. I thought I could get another without making you worry. Do you think you can get another in five months? It took you that long to get the last one. It won't take me as long to get another. But how did you lose it? What's the use of talking about it? That won't bring it back. Are you? Yes. Have your sinful fingers brought you trouble again? Now, now, Gloria. Don't try to accuse me as they did. What did they accuse you of? It's what you mean to say. The bring, they call it. What else would you call it? What? According to them, did you steal? It was nothing much, really nothing at all. What was it? It was an apple. An apple? You mean an apple? Don't you know what an apple is? You mean you took one apple? Yes, and they kicked me out for it. For taking one single apple. Not a dozen, not a free. That's what you get for not stopping a thing before you do something. I have guessed they would do that for one apple when there were millions of them. You're holding them to the warehouse. I saw one rolling up a broken tree. It looks so delicious. Suddenly, I found myself putting it in my lunch bag. That's trouble with you. When you think of your own stomach, you think of nothing else. I was not thinking of myself. Whom were you thinking of? Me? Did I ever ask you to bring apples? I am not as crazy as that. I was thinking of our giant. Tita? Why? Did she ever ask for apples? Yes, she did. Do you remember? The night I took her out for a walk when I got home. We were wandering in the streets when we passed the fruit stand, the sold delicious red apples, which cost 70 centavos each. But when I took my packet out, I realized that my money is not enough to afford buying her those apples. That's why the next night, I rushed to the supermarket to buy her some apples. But instead of red, I bought the green ones. And when I came home, I handed it to her. I thought she'd be glad, but by the look of her face, she was unhappy. I should have tried to bring you pandesal, or rice, or milk. And not those delicious apples. We're not rich. We can live without apples. Why? Did God create apple trees to bear food for each alone? Did He create the whole world for everyone? That's why I tried to bring the apple home for Tita. When we brought her into this world, we short a promise her. Everything she had a right to have in life. So, for a measly apple, we lost a job we needed so much. I wouldn't mind losing a thousand job for an apple for my daughter. Where is this apple? The price so much. Were you able to give it to Tita? No, they kept it. As evidence. See? You lost your job. Trying to build an apple and you even lost the apple for which you lost your job. Building an apple. That's too small a reason to get a poor man out of work. You should ask them to give you a second chance, Mario. They won't do that. Why not? Can't you see? They have been waiting for me to take me a step like that. They've been wanted to throw out for any reason, so that they may bring their own way to me. should complain. Suppose I did. What will they do? They will dig up my police record. But Mario, that was so long ago. Why would they try to take that thing up? They do anything to keep me out. Don't worry, I'll find another job. Isn't really so hard to look for a job nowadays. You know, 
I've been job hunting for a week now. I think I have found a good job. There you go. I think again. Believe me, I'm not lying this time. You're always lying. You can tell when you're telling me not or not. In fact, I'll see someone tonight who knows all company that needs a night watchman. Aren't you only trying to make me feel better, Mario? No, Gloria. Alice? Alice! I knew God wouldn't let us down. He never lets anybody down. I'll pray tonight and ask him to let you have the job. But Mario, would it mean that you'd have to stay out all night? That will be alright. I can always sleep during the day. What I mean is, it will be different. When you aren't by my side at night. But, oh, I'll be egg, I'll get used to it. Why don't you go and see these birds of yours right now? Anyway, you don't have anything to do tonight. Don't you think it's wise to see him as early as you can? Yes, I think I'll do that. Here, Mario, put this on and go. I'll stay up and wait for you. No, Gloria, you must not wait for me. I may be back quietly. Well, you 
hate my face so much. You'll have to pay me back. Take it as a gift. The more reason I should refuse it. Right. So that's how you want it. Mario has stopped depending on you since the day I took him away from her clutches. Haven't you realized by now that this was a terrible mistake, taking me away from my clutches? I have no regrets. How about Mario? Has he no regrets either? He has none. How can you be so sure? When he and our pals, we can go to first class air condition, the houses, and every other day. And bet all the money I have here now. It has not been to one since you liberated him from me. That almost four years ago. One cannot expect too much from honest money and we don't. What is honest? Does it look better than dishonest money? Does it buy more or honest? What is it? Tracing like that? Staying in this dungeon you call a house? Is that what you saw a beautiful fall? Honestly. Pablo! See? What happened to your daughter? That is what honesty has done to her. And how can honesty help her now? She's not sick. She needs no medicine. You, you know that. You know very well what she needs. Food. Good food. She's undernourished. Isn't she? Pablo! I know you have come to live up to your disabilities. But you can. You want to listen to you now. We have done this far. And we can go on living without you. God is living? This, Gloria, is what you call dying and dying slowly, minute by minute. <laughs> Pablo, stop it! You shouldn't have come! I got that ready for you! So you have been seeing each other? I was afraid so. We came to the house yesterday. Pablo, don't. He said he would be back this noon, but he didn't show up. I came because I was afraid his conscience was bothering him. Pablo! I told you she shouldn't know. It's alright, Mario. You'd better tell her everything. She's about to know later. Tell her what you told me. That you no longer believe in the way she wanted to live. Mario, is this what you meant by another job? Who are you? You promised me you were going to leave. You said you'd go straight. Never go back to that life. Gloria, you, you must try to understand. I tried. I tried long and hard, but I could not dip out this kind of trick. You're to blame for this, you son of the devil. You come to him when you know he's down. He came to me first. When you know he'll think of anything, and do anything, he will return to the life he hates. Get out of our sight. Get out. All right, all right. I'll leave. Just as soon as Mario's ready to go. I'm going with you! Is that so? Why did you ask me? <laughs> I said he's not going! Go on! Ask him! You're not going with him, are you? Are you? Tell that group that you're not going with him anywhere. Tell him to leave us and never come back. Tell him to go! Please! Mario! Please! Gloria! I know he has talked to you and tried to poison your mind again. But don't go with him. This is the still the better way of life. If things have not been turning out well, you must know that God is not letting us down. He is only trying us. Gloria, I. You're going! I can see that you want to go with him. Go! Oh. Be here again, wondering whether you'll be shot in the head or sent to jail. Don't worry, Gloria. You save with me. You won't come anymore near jail. I've got connections. You need your peace. It was. It was. Fuck. You're an asshole. Stay there, Pablo! I'll be with you in a minute! Gloria, I'm going with you. Don't, Mario! Don't! You can make me stop now. I thought about this since last week. No, no, Mario! No! 
take good care of yourself in our church. I'll take good care of myself. Don't wait for me. I come back home very late.